Okay, so we're rolling. This is Toro the Bull. We've got Gumby Jean helping us out. Toro, what's going on with your left leg? Pain. Burning sensation. So how did this all get started? And you're okay if we video you, right? Right. Yeah, how did this get started? It uh, felt a tinge of pain on Monday afternoon. Uh -huh. By Tuesday morning, it was swollen and mm -hmm. inflamed. And you said it drained spontaneously once or twice even? Twice. Have you had any fevers or chills with this? Uh, no. Okay, so this looks like you had a little spider bite or something there. Actually, Gummy Jean, let me get this back to you. If you'll give me the alcohol swab, I'll tell you what we're gonna do for you here, okay? It looks like it was a little spider bite to me. I'm going to inject just a small amount of an anesthetic here, okay? And uh, you're gonna feel a little bee sting when we do it. But what's gonna happen is, is that, that will allow me to then put a little larger needle in there and see if there's any pus, okay? Because I'm concerned that you may have a bit of pus. Gummy Jean's gonna spray a little cold spray. He's gonna feel a what? Stick sting and a burn. There you are, bud. A little stick sting and a burn. Yeah, I know it hurts. Looks pretty good, though. That's good. That's what we want. You wanna take that? Thank you, man. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and swab this a little bit and it shouldn't hurt as much. It, this may already be on the way to mending, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that it's drained a couple of times is very encouraging, but the fact that it's hurting you enough for you to still come in has me concerned. But what I can see, and Gummy Jean, I need to, can you hand me that pen right over there? This may not be immediately evident on the video, but he's actually got redness that comes out all the way to here. Do you see that? Yeah. Can you see how the color changes there? Let me get you to turn just a little bit more. So it comes around just like that. See that? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you not to wash this ink off tonight, okay? Mm -hmm. You can take a shower and all that. Just don't wash that ink off so I can... Uh, when we see you back tomorrow, we want to make sure that the redness is receding, okay, from there. So now we're going to go ahead and just put a little needle in here. Actually, this is a large needle. It's an 18 gauge. Okay, a little, little, little sting, not bad though, huh? Mm -mm. Okay, good. So what we're trying to do here is just create an opportunity for this to drain spontaneously. Give that back to you. So that's a little bit, a little bloody kind of pus come out. It's not bad. See there's a little pus coming out of there, Gumby Jane, see that? Mm -hmm. Have we got anything we can do a culture with? Mm. All right, we have our culture swab. I thought we had one in the room, but we didn't. Okay, so we're gonna just push on this again and get down in there a little bit, bud. Hopefully you won't feel a lot of pain. Ideally, we'd like to get way down in there. That's gonna have to do. So these are almost always uh, staph, okay? Every now and then we get surprised, but the antibiotics we're gonna give you today, we're gonna empirically treat you for staph, spider bite staph infection. And um, sometimes if these get worse instead of better, the fact that we've taken a culture kind of helps direct our antibiotic therapy down the line. Now here's what's important. We're gonna put a dry dressing on this. We absolutely do not want you to put any kind of ointment on this at all. Okay, Mr. Toro? Mm -hmm. The reason is if you put uh, antibiotic ointment on there, it'll plug it up and it'll stop draining and we need it to continue to drain, okay? So Gummy Jean, thank you so much for your help. She's gonna send that culture in and we want you back tomorrow for a follow-up. Any okay. questions? No, Good deal, bud. We'll see you then. All right. Bye. How you doing, bud? Great. So you're telling me you uh, I just squeezed on this a little bit, so it's a little bit red right around the, the little scab there. But you can see from back here, the redness has receded quite a bit in from the, the markings that we made. Uh, any fevers or chills overnight? None. Good. Okay. And you said you're having a little bit less pain today? A lot less pain. Did it drain much? Uh, yesterday. A little bit of blood, not Just much. Just a little bit of blood? Okay, not much, but okay, good. All right, so the only thing we want to do now is uh, we want to stay on the antibiotics. Just, uh, I want you to put like a warm compress on this a couple of times a day. It'd be good if that uh, wound would stay open, okay? Mm -hmm. um, kind of heal from the inside out. And when we get the culture results back in, we may need to call you up and change something, but it looks like you're getting a good response to the antibiotics, so that's pretty doubtful that that's going to happen. All right, bud, thanks for helping us, uh, you know, do a follow-up and uh, letting us video for our friends on YouTube. Yes, sir. All right. Hey, folks, you spoke and we listened. Here's what you had to say about Meta7. I love it so much. It gives me so much energy during the day. 
I've noticed a change in my hair, my nails, my blood pressure. There's no doubt that it, it's, it's a benefit to me. It gives me more stamina. And it could actually help you lose weight. Now, I haven't taken a nap in six months. That's right, Meta7. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Weight loss, more energy, and generally feeling more alert during the day. Let's hear more. I just reordered a 90 day supply. I have more energy and I'm in a better mood. It's natural, it's amazing. I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm not tired during the day. I've worked 12 hour shifts. I just go, go, go all day. It makes me feel great. I love it and um, take it. It's wonderful stuff. If you haven't tried Meta7 yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon. Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. There's an Amazon link in the description.